Hi, this is Bridget from Speech Therapy Talk Services, and I wanted to do a quick video about how I run my articulation therapy sessions. So I've been doing teletherapy practice for about six months now. I absolutely love it. And I've kind of streamlined my process that my children, I'm amazed at the progress they're making and in how much I enjoy it. So I just wanted to share kind of what I've been doing and hopefully I can help some of you out there. I use my website. I use ABCYA and Pink Cat Games. Now this is a paid website. It's pretty nominal. I think it's about $35 a year. ABCYA, which is free, and my website. So my website is also pretty nominal. I think it's, it, it's, I think it's very useful. Um, I've made all this, all these materials. I have uh, handouts. I have home practice down here for parents. I have uh, handouts on disorders. I have different documentation things. And even before all of this, the COVID-19 happened, I preferred no print materials sick of wasting paper and I just don't like extra work to print. So I've been making no print materials. I don't like really cutesy stuff, distracting stuff, cut and paste stuff. For my materials, I want to drill type things, very focused practice, get a lot of work in and then reinforce with the game. That's always been my strategy. So that's what this membership's about. It is only $7 a month and I plan on keeping it that affordable because Frankly, I'm sick of paying for monthly memberships too. So for a pretty nominal fee, you get access to all this. So let's say we have an articulation student. So what I would do is I would go over, I usually warm up, I introduce the goal. What are we working on? And let's really focus on it. So let's say we're working on S. So I'll scroll down to S here and we would trace it. We'd talk about what our teeth and lips do, we would say the words, we would find the words here, um, maybe rhyme some words, just really warm up our muscles, our brain, and we're ready to go. Or maybe I would bring up these phonological awareness tasks, you know, and if I need a little more interactive activity, I would have the child find the words that start with us, Yay, you did it, or chocolate, that doesn't start with us. You know, we do that. So after we're all warmed up, we're focused on what we need to do, I scroll back up here and find some flashcards. So let's say I scroll all the way down to S and I bring up my flashcards. And let's say the child's working on moving from words to sentences. So we would say house, new house, I bought a new house. And we'd run through those. So now the first part of my session, I'm very focused. I worked on warming up. I worked on flashcards, I worked on moving into sentences. After that, I usually pop over and do Pink Cat Games. It's an awesome website, I'm not affiliated with it, I don't get any money from it, it's not a promotion, I just love it. It's a really nice way where I can pick what I wanna work on and then pick a game. So you know, my child has done this drill-based, a lot of really good focused practice, and now we add the distraction of a game. And we might do work on S while playing a game. They love it, but it is still some work. So once they get through the articulation, the drill, the game, I always say, yay, you've earned a game. This is just a game. We go to ABCYA. I take away the controls. I'm the student, they're the teacher. And with their good sound, they have to tell me what to do. They think it's just playing, but I always sneak in some extra articulation practice. And they might have to say, tell me, I see chocolate, and then I click on chocolate. Then they tell me, I see pink, and then I would, you know, color it for them. But it's a fun way to get good practice still, but they think they've just earned a game, and I always put it at the end, and they usually work really hard, even my older students, to be able to do these A, B, Y, A, B, C, Y, A games. And I tend to stick to the make games, like make a cake, make a tree, that kind of stuff. So I hope that was helpful. I hope you picked up some tips. If you're interested in trying out this website, let me know. Um, there's some other things here. There's some hidden pictures, caribou cards, that smash interactive stuff. So there's a lot to choose from. Um, I hope you have a great day and thanks for watching.